show you around Nashville this afternoon. Nashville is my hometown. So I'm really excited to show you some of me and Daniel's favorite places to go when we visit here, as well as some new favorites that we are checking out for the first time and bringing you along. First things first, we'll start with some coffee. I love about Nashville is there are no shortages of locally owned coffee shops that are fantastic but there's a brand new one open that not only is supposed to have good coffee but also has gourmet donuts which is another thing that Nashville has kind of become a thing for is the French Toast Donut, which is their number one most popular. And the second is the Blueberry Hill Donut, which they said is their team's favorite here. So we had to give that one a shot. Cheers. <laughs> looked like it was gonna be so heavy, but it's so fluffy. I think this may be my favorite donut of all time. Like a cross between a donut and a croissant and I am not mad about it. Now that our tummies are completely stuffed with sugar, it's time to walk some of that off at one of my personal favorite parks in Nashville. This is Centennial Park. It's 132 acres right on the west end of Nashville and it offers the perfect respite from the glitz and glamour of Broadway and the honky tonks. But it's a personal favorite for me because as a kid we would come here every single summer for Shakespeare in the Park. And this place is beautiful. This is a perfect spot for walking, running, bringing a bike, hanging out with your dog or just playing with the family. But it's got one little thing in it, maybe not so little, that's kind of out of place. Welcome to the Parthenon. Can you believe how huge this thing is? It's actually the exact same size as the real Parthenon in Athens, Greece. It was actually built in 1897 for the Tennessee Centenary Exposition. And while all the other buildings that were created were demolished, this one was saved as a museum. And it's pretty cool. On a normal day, you can actually go in and check out the 42 foot tall statue of Athena, the Greek goddess. But they've got an event tonight. So you'll just have to come here on your own and check that out but they've got tons of food trucks and other fun things. So let's check out the rest of the park. Nashville has some amazing restaurants. It's a foodie lover's dream, which is both good and bad. Good because you're gonna try some of the most delicious food you can get anywhere in the country. Mostly fried. Mostly fried. <laughs> that's the bad side. You're probably gonna gain a couple of pounds while you're in Nashville and that's just... Totally worth it. Totally worth it. So indulge when you come. Enjoy some food, and then go back to your healthy diet if you need to. No trip to Nashville would be complete without a trip to Hattie B's. And they are known for hot chicken. Now while they're not the OGs, the OGs technically the award goes to Prince's Hot Chicken, Hattie B's has become a fan favorite. And if you like the hot stuff, 
there's a level called Shut the Cluck Up. Now, if you've seen our hot shit video, you know that I can handle pretty much any heat level. But if you're brave enough, definitely check out Shut the Cluck Up. I'm not gonna eat at Hattie B's tonight. When you come, we're gonna show you what our favorite hack is. The best way to do it is to come with a group of people because there's gonna be at least an hour wait. And while you wait, half your group stays in line and the other half does this. Welcome to Broadway Brew House. And this is one of our favorite hacks because, well, you can play darts while your friends are waiting on some Hattie B's chicken. Now, the bonus here is that they have a drink called the Bushwhacker. It tastes kind of like a Wendy's Frosty, but with Bacardi 151. Party in a Frosty. Ooh. In case you don't want to try the whole Bushwhacker and just want a little taste, you can always ask the bartender for a Weed Whacker, which will give you the baby version. <laughs> okay, I swear I usually suck at darts, so that was pretty exciting. Now, I actually happen to be a pro at darts. Prepare to be impressed. We're gonna do something a little bit crazy and go down to Broadway, but it tends to be a little on the crazy side these days. Doesn't matter, Monday through Sunday, no matter what time of the day, it's a madhouse. But for you, it's worth it. Now it's no secret that parking in big cities can be a bear, and Nashville is no exception. But we've got a pretty good parking hack, and honestly, Laura and I debated whether we should share this information or not. Our favorite downtown Nashville parking When on Broadway, the best spots are always those with a rooftop balcony. And the one here at Acme is pretty epic because as you can see, you have a view of the river, the stadium where the Tennessee Titans play. It's pretty much perfect. which means basically on average you have a 20 to max hour wait and there's live music up here and great food and you can get a cocktail while you wait is there anything more fun in southern than drinking out of a mason jar table finally secured and it didn't take an hour so that is always a win Fried pickle chips, yum. They do great pizza here. downtown Broadway is we have an Airstream travel day tomorrow so it's time for us to head back home but 
As you can see, Nashville's a beautiful place to wander local. So, if you get the chance, make it happen. As much as we love downtown Nashville, tomorrow is a travel day. And the Airstream bed is calling our name. But until next time, my friend, make sure you take the time to wander local this week. As you know, it's good for the soul. We're still shocked because we were half asleep, but we've got to go. There's police and fire trucks and everything everywhere. We, they just let us know there's an ammonia leak at the campground and we have to leave immediately. We need to evacuate immediately.